show you what I got yesterday. See that beauty right there. It's the old original handle, fireman's axe. Um, it's got some surface rust on it here. It goes up to the paint. A little bit of pitting there. Um, but this thing, we're going to give a shot today to see how she does splitting a little bit of wood down here for the, for the school. Let me show you what this thing looks like. It's a beast, man. It is heavy. It's probably, my guess is a, maybe a four pound head. Um, maybe even, maybe even more. But uh, I figured I'd give it a couple swings and just see how she does. But you can see there's, there's a pretty good side to it here. It's got the surface rust here. The only side that has a little bit of pitting is this side here on the, on the face. And, uh, but it seems to be hung pretty well. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. There was a label on this thing right here. Um, at some point, you can see where it was glued. I don't know what kind of axe this is, who made it. Um, the maker anyway. And, uh, but we're gonna just see how she chops. The handle, uh, paint's about gone on the end down here. I will say that it's checking right through here a good bit. Um, so I may end up having to replace this handle, but we're just gonna take it straight out of the antique store and uh, give it a few swings. Oh yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice hefty head on this thing. Woo! Splitting that red oak like it's like it's not even there. Oh yeah. And uh, never, never chopped one in a wood yard, but uh, looks like the head's slipping a little bit, so I may have to stop in a little bit to uh, wait and get that thing tightened down. But uh, I'm guessing, you know, you might could use this as a pick run. This thing is a beauty to swing. light stroke the, uh, the extra weight and mass of this head just makes it uh, so much easier to split with I'm not taking full swings really I'm just kind of letting the head do the work Splits it open. telling you this thing right here is doing uh doing a fine job on the splitting so uh just want to show everybody that i will uh try and get all this rust off here tighten it up a little bit on this side take the rust off the point see what i'm gonna do on the handle but anyway there it is little fireman's axe nice heavy head and uh, that's it. I like it. I just split up, I don't know, whatever's behind me, uh, that red oak, and with ease. Um, I even hit a few pieces of pecan. That's a little tougher to split, but uh, the extra weight on this head 
man, it's it's a uh, it's a it's a pleasure to swing. So um, this axe will do the stuff. Um, so I'm pleased with. It. Um, may do some uh, some failing with it just to see if it works well on that and bucking maybe. So anyway, guys, I uh, appreciate you watching this little short thing on this fireman's axe. And um, again, I'd like feedback from anybody that has one that they actually use and not hang on the wall. Um, so, uh, and, and if I can find out more information on this particular axe, who made it, and that kind of stuff, I'll let you know. But uh, until then, you guys enjoy your, uh, your Christmas and your holiday uh, time with family and friends. And uh, we sure appreciate you watching here. So uh, you guys take care and uh, keep doing stuff self-reliance. Talk to you next time.